If you're a content creator here on YouTube, then you love unboxings because you always get excited about what's in the box. Even if you know what's in the box, it's always this anticipation. Oh, I wanna see exactly what it looks like. And of course, there's a perk to doing this. If you get in contact with some of the brands and things out there, they just send you this stuff for free. So that's one of the perks that, one of the reasons why I really got into this, it was a small reason, but it was still there. I was like, well, you know, it'd be pretty cool if I can get some free product and promote it for them. No problems there, I don't mind. And that's what we're gonna do today with this unboxing. But this one, for me, is really special. Now I'll get into that in a second, but first I wanna welcome everyone and also those of you who are new to the channel. My name is Servant of Shiloh and this place where you have stumbled upon is RPG Elite. This is the place where I focus on putting the RP back into tabletop RPG. And how I do this is by giving you tools, tips, tutorials, and real talk about the tabletop RPG space and culture. I'm not gonna waste a lot of your time today because I'm excited and I already edited the video. I just wanna go back and watch it again. And then on the other side of this, I got the question of the vid, plus a little bit of a disappointing story when it comes to one of the products that's in this unboxing. See you then. Oh my goodness, you know, Every time I have to sit down at the dining room table with y'all, I am always excited. Big, small, medium, doesn't matter. What it means, like y'all know, for those of you who have come to the channel, the dining room table means it's another unboxing. What? Oh yeah, now this time, ah. Uh, this one is a smaller box, but my goodness is heavy. <laughs> this is a heavy box and they ain't messing around. Now you guys have seen, if you've gone and seen any of my other unboxings and if you haven't, then at the end of this video, there'll be a link for you to go and click on so you can see those in a playlist or you can just go down in the link in the description below. I'll have it down there as well. But here, I've done several unboxings, but this one, oh gosh, I'm geeked for this one. And I'm a fanboy of the products. Let's do it, y'all. I'm so geeked. <laughs> it's weird. I was just sitting here like looking at the box, laughing before the camera even came on, right? Just going, I'm just like a kid in a candy shop, y'all, all the time. Okay. Got the handy, trusty dusty. Utility knife, it's time to take action. Let's do it, all right. So I'm gonna go like this. As always, go down the center, right here. Go down the bottom, right here. And yeah, I'm always excited when the top comes open. I have no idea what's in, I mean, I do know what's inside here, but I don't know what's first, what's second, all the rest of that. Okay, so packing slip. All right, let's open it up. Man, it got this just kind of like, it got this wrapped up like for real Um, All uh, <laughs> Why do we get like this? Why? I mean, why? You know, it, it's just, I don't know. It's just something, oh my gosh. Oh, oh goodness. Let me just get to it, okay? It's a cypher system, y'all. It is the cypher system for Money Cook Games. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so geeked right now. Oh my goodness, this, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was being stupid, man, this is fantastic. We're gonna take a look inside here in just a second, okay? But, oh gosh, 
Y'all know, anytime that these guys come out with anything, when we look inside, it's going to be gorgeous. I, I don't, I, I, you know what? After seeing all their products and looking inside and going through all that, I never even looked at the beginning of the book to see who's doing the artwork. We're getting ready to kind of get in on that, on this one. But Cypher System, right chair. So it feels so good. It feels so good. All right. Like I said, we'll get into the inside in one second. Now, you guys who are, who've been here, you guys know from my one video when I said my top three favorite RPGs of all time that the top one was Marvel Super Heroes Advanced. I've also mentioned several times that you see it behind me on my set piece when I go downstairs and I'm talking, you can see behind me a whole bunch of superhero stuff. I am a superhero fanatic. Well, they didn't done me in y'all because they sent me unmasked Cypher System Superhero, oh, man. Oh my gosh, I, I'm sorry, I just, I'm sorry I'm doing this, y'all. I'm, I'm just, I am so geeked right now. You just don't understand. Now, obviously, if they are sending me this material, they want me to do a little something, something. And now, just answer this question. You honestly believe that I am gonna have a hard time putting together content for this, right? It's just, uh, oh gosh, and it's just, I don't wanna mess with it because it just looks pretty. It looks pretty. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on, oh man. I just, I, I, uh, I'm so geeked, it's stupid. Here it is, the latest from them as of the recording of this video. This is Planes Walker, or Planes Breaker, I'm sorry, Planes Breaker, Path of the Plane Breaker. Explore dozens of new planes, plus the enigmatic Plane Breaker and its city of Timeborn. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Just, I, I, it's very rare. You guys know I can talk. It's very rare when I'm at a loss for words. It, and then, okay. So I, I, I need you, I need to do a little bit of a setup here. So when I, this is the only company Right, I, I might have did something with my mic there, so sorry. This is the only company where I approached them to ask for product. It's the only company. Because I have plenty of product and content. All right, so when I wanted to get some of the products and stuff, I started looking at some of the things because they had come up with some new stuff. And I saw one that was called The Origin. And I was like, huh, what's up with this? So I looked at it a little bit and I was like, oh, Suki, let me, let me download the preview. And I did. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I, oh yes. Oh, this one right here I need. So I downloaded it, started reading. And in the interim, this is what they have now sent me, the origin. And I am, I am so excited about this. There is something definitely coming on the channel on this, and it might be episodic to be quite honest, because from what I am reading, I like it so much. Now, this is a campaign setting for the Cypher system. So you're gonna need the Cypher system in order to play this. But this is what I've read so far, so they've already sent me the PDFs. So what I have read so far, oh, this right here is, is a definite. Now, how am I gonna how, how am I gonna cover all this stuff? You gonna cover Planes Breaker too? Yes, I am. Um, you gonna cover uh, Unmasked too? Yes, I am. Isn't that gonna be a lot? Yes, it is. Which means I'm going back to the schedule to redo a whole lot of things because I told them straight up. I was like, well, my schedule is like three to four months out, you know. But I'm a fanboy. I can switch stuff around, <laughs> and I'm switching stuff around, folks. On the Ferilla Magilla. But this one right here, we're definitely doing something with this. I'm already working with some of, uh, you know, my white right-hand man, uh, Tom, 
we're already working on putting something together already. Now, because we do alternative genre tabletop RPGs on this channel, and that's all we do, so we don't do any fantasy. So if there's any uh, game creators out there, understand that. I, I don't do fantasy on this channel. Do not send me fan. I get people that send me fantasy stuff all the time. Don't send me fantasy stuff because I don't do it. But I do alternative things. And this one was an alternative one that I thought was rather interesting when I was looking at it and the preview on it, but it's called First Responders. I thought the concept was rather interesting. And so I am going to be, I have plenty of reading material now, but I'm gonna be doing something with this because I've already looked at the preview. Again, I downloaded the preview, which is one of the reasons why I asked for it. And it's just right up the alley on what I do here at RPG Elite. All right, so now that we know what's in the box, let's go ahead and check what's on the inside of the actual books themselves. I'm gonna take this box, I'm gonna put it right here. And let's do it in reverse order. Let's do it with a little bit of first responders. Right. We got first responders here. And this is really cool. So you see on the cover right here, it is, it looks like firefighter saving somebody, some more firefighters running into a disaster scene. Now, as you can see here, it got kind of messed up here on the corners. Uh, and I don't care. I, I really don't, cause that's not that big of a deal. It got crunched up a little bit on the corners, but who cares? Um, because the rest of the product, it just looks good. I'm just glad I have it in a hardcover form. Now, if we look inside here, it's looking pretty good. And as you can see the whole premise and of the campaign setting, first responders also is a campaign setting. Let's look on the inside a little more. All right. All right. Looking good here. Looking good. Okay. So we've got, uh, an explanation of what first responders is. Everything looks uniform as with all of the cipher system, Numenera type things. Uh, let's go and look at some of the other stuff. Yep. So we're looking at more of firefighters, even police officers or EMT, or just setting up certain scenarios where the regular heroes, the normal heroes are the ones who are front and center really love the concept of this. Uh, and it's got, of course, it's always, you know, the great art that's in it, right? It's just good. Uh, it's got different tiers as, and I'm gonna do something separate on Cypher system. If you guys don't understand what tiers are or foci or descriptors or things like that, we, we're gonna get to that eventually. But this looks pretty good. Not pretty good, looks fantastic actually. Just nice in terms of the art and it's not a matte finish. So it's a little bit of a glossy, but not really, not, you know, totally glossy, but it's a little bit of a glossy. And they have this one section in here, it's called scenarios. And these scenarios at their core are the different kind of disasters that you can set up for your player characters to do their job as first responders. So you have fires, volcanoes, floods, earthquake, nuclear disasters, pandemics. So you know this is new. And then they have several different scenarios, how they get set up. Uh, just looks really good, man. I like this. I really do. So first responders, y'all. So the next one on the list that I wanna just skim through is Planes Breaker. And on the inside here, gosh, this is dope. This is really, really dope. So with this, what you have is these different planes that I am guessing that you can use either in the Cypher system or Numenera or really any of the settings. So you could use it in the origin, to be quite honest. Um, and it would work kind of perfectly with the origin because they have these things called subworlds and one of those subworlds could lead right to a different plane. And then you can go into this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that I'm thinking about it getting geeked, 
right? So this is very cool, but I'm not gonna get into it in, in too much detail. Let's just take a look inside very quickly. Uh, and again, just uh, great looking in terms of the art and the book itself. This is fantastic. Next is on the list is Unmasked. Now, I've been looking at this for quite a long time. Again, I am a superhero aficionado. I have several superhero tabletop RPGs, several. And this one here is uh, the one of the newest offerings. And I was going down to my local shop here, taking a look at it and saying, hmm, I think I might want to get this. And let's go on the inside. So if we open it up to the very inside, we see the, what looks like Boundary Bay. So it looks like this is set up in Long Island, New York. It's always New York, y'all. Just like Marvel, New York. Now in DC is Metropolis, but that might as well be New York. And look at that. This is really cool stuff, y'all, if you like this kind of stuff. Now there is another one that they have out that they just came out with uh, that kind of is connected with the origin called Claim the Sky. So that's another setting uh, if you're not familiar with it. But Unmasked, is, it's, I think this is this whole, uh, it's whole, it's all by itself. If I'm not mistaken, I might be, I might be mistaken on that, but I don't think I am. I think this is something that's totally separate. I know it's totally separate from the origin. And I think it's just got it, it's its own thing. All right. All right. Some good, you know, it, it's just, the artwork doesn't make it, you know, you can have some pretty decent, you know, halfway decent artwork but it helps, right? I think a lot of it has to do with also the actual formatting, like the formatting of the headers and things like that. I'll look at that stuff, by the way. And this is, uh, I like the way this one looks, very much so. And again, I'm going to go through, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm gonna go through each one of these like separately in their own video. And of course, we've got the origin. And let's just look at this briefly. Oh gosh, this is on the inside, the inside cover. And man, man, oh man, this is just what I'm talking about. I'm just, ah. Oh. <laughs> and I, I have already been reading the PDF on this, so I'm pretty familiar with what it looks like and how the origin setting works. This is just dopeness on a, a high level. Just, I love it. I cannot wait to get into this. And you know how I said, like an RPG elite doesn't play RPG seven days a week. Well, I'm gonna be the exception to the rule of that because obviously I do this for a living. <laughs> I do this for a living. And some things I really, really look forward to. And this is something I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, again, we're gonna cover this uh, separately. But the core of all of that ladies and gentlemen, is the Cypher system. This one here is 400 and something pages. Hold up, let me see. Yep, 400 and it looks like 45 pages. So they didn't give me just a little bit. They gave me the whole Monty, y'all. The whole thing. And I also have the PDF, which they sent me as well. They, ah, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've just got a loss for words on this, man. I'm just stoked like you would not believe. So this is what we are going, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this on the channel, y'all. And this year, by the way, uh, we've got a lot of different things coming up on RPG Elite. So being that we don't do fantasy on this channel, you think I have enough content to be able to kind of last for a little while? Oh, for sheezy, y'all. And I am geeked. You guys stay tuned because you're going to be seeing a lot more of the Cypher system and the settings because I'm going to be making a lot of content around these products. And I want to say thank you very much, Monty Cook Games. You guys came in like a champ. And I'm looking forward to getting into this. A little bit of time has passed since I recorded 
that video because as soon as I got that box, I recorded the video. So the same day that I got that, I was at my dining room table. I had all the books out. I had already recorded the video and I was looking at the origin. I had the origin opened up and the rest of the books were stacked next to it. And I had to come downstairs to get something. I don't remember what it was, but my wife was in the kitchen. She's doing her thing or whatever. So I came downstairs and I must've been gone about five, 10 minutes. But right before I left, there was a little small voice saying, hey, you might want to close that book. But I ignored it and I came downstairs, did whatever it was I was doing, came back upstairs and lo and behold, I've got coffee drips on my book. And the first thing I said when I saw it, I was like, oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. I haven't had the book 24 hours and it has coffee stains on it now. So my wife comes over and she's like, I don't know how that happened because folks, I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. So when I came upstairs, I was just disappointed, right? So the first thing I did was grab up all my books and took them right downstairs. They're, they're right here next to me right now. She doesn't like coming down here and I'm like, good. The only time she comes down here is when she wants to say something to me or if she was going to do some laundry, right? And I'm like, hey, great. Let me keep them down here. And one of the comments that I made, I said, well, looks like I'm just going to be having the PDF upstairs because I ain't bringing them up, up here no more, right? So I'm disappointed, right? And I'm grumbling. And I'm downstairs and I'm praying. I'm like, Lord, come on. I mean, I, we just got the books. And then the Lord brought two things to mind for me. And the first one was this. He said, well, she could have spilled it all over that book and ruined it totally. And I was like, you're right. That's true. But it was the second one that got me. He brought this to mind. He said, also, remember, you got those for free. And I was like, man, what do you even say to that? And so I calmed down right away. Now, this is not a license for my wife to be careless and drip coffee on hundreds of dollars worth of stuff stuff that is very expensive. Y'all know how much this stuff costs. So no, it is not to excuse her for that. She was careless, shouldn't have dripped stuff on my books. At the same time though, can only be bent out of shape for so long. And also, it's just a couple drips, man. It is It's not the end of the world. The rest of the book is gorgeous. It's in pristine condition. And even the books, I mean, it's not like I can't read on the pages that has the stains. Hold up a second, let me show you. So here, so you got a couple stains right here on page 60, if you can see this, my light's probably giving you a glare. But let me put it up to you, there you go. So you can see the coffee stains there, right? You can still read everything that's on the page. Now, obviously on the reverse side, you're gonna kinda have some lighter stains on page 59, so let me show that to y'all so you could probably see them right there, right? All right, the rest of the book is in fantastic condition. It's still in great condition. I can still read it. We can still play. I have the PDF, no complaints. So everything's cool now, all's well that ends well. I mean, it's not like I'm going to kill off her character in the little mini campaign I have her and Tom in right now. No, no, I'm not going to do that. What you looking at me like that for? I'm not going to do that. Man, y'all tripping. Now, if you're interested in any of the products that I unboxed here today, there are links for all of them down in the description below, PDFs as well as the hardcover. And also, if you've got any value out of this video, then do me a solid, could you please? And crush the like button. Also, if you wanna stick around for a little while and join us leets over here then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell on top of that and if you want to really get down and dirty with it then go ahead and consider joining the lead squad now the lead squad are those who are very dedicated to rpg elite and what i do here on the channel uh, so far i just have a monthly giveaway for everyone but i plan on having more so as things go further down the line you guys will have a little bit more as far as the perks if you join the Elite Squad today. Question of the vid is a simple one, y'all. 
which one of these campaign settings interests you the most? Now I'm talking about the campaign setting. I'm not talking about the Cypher system proper because you need that to play all of them. Okay, so I'm talking about Origin, Unmasked, First Responders, even Claim the Sky. If you wanna include that one in there too, you can do that one too. So out of all the five that I listed, Plane Breaker, which one looks kind of cool and looks like that might be something that you might want to try out. Now, if I didn't give enough information, remember all the links are down in the description below and you can just click on those to get more information about them in terms of the specifics. And then you can come back here and answer down in the comments. I want to know y'all inquiring minds want to know. That's gonna do it for me. I gotta get out of here. This video has been long enough anyway. So let me go ahead and do my snaggle puss. So exit, If you have a session this weekend, because I do, y'all know what's up. One ring in the house, what? Then if you've got one too, Happy gaming, y'all. I hope it is an RPG Elite session. Also, if you wanna watch more videos, more unboxings, I got them right here. So until next time, peace. 5,000 leaks, a brother is outie. Oh, God bless.